Hey guys, me again. Uh, I'm staying away from the whole Gemma Connor things. Hopefully for the next couple of videos, they don't do stupid things. I won't make stupid videos. There you go. Uh, plus, it stops the arguments in the comment section, I suppose. Uh, the homeless figures released for uh, September. And they read at 10,275. Makes it the seventh month running. Where over ten thousand, where over ten thousand people have been homeless in Ireland, um, the figure is down from the previous month of ten thousand three hundred and thirty-eight, but overall it's still an increase of three hundred and forty-eight percent since August two thousand and fourteen. Um, it also sees one thousand seven hundred and twenty-six families, uh, homeless in Ireland. Uh, this includes 3,848 3, children um, in emergency accommodation and 6,490 6, adults. Uh, 910 adults over 25 were living in emergency accommodation with 63% of those people being in Dublin. Uh, these are some of the official figures however we have a serious problem with unofficial um, or undocumented homeless people in Ireland because the government have finally recognized it's an, an epidemic um, they've now increased the paperwork and the like and the administration that goes into documenting yourself as homeless and it adds to just unwarranted stress and everything else. Um, also, the figures for the social housing department were released, and it shows just under 72,000 uh, households eligible for social housing. Only a quarter of those, or a quarter of that quota, has been fulfilled. There is very limited um, social housing being built at the moment. Um, well down on the units that they were saying should be built already there it's it's i'm not i'm not even sure what the number is because it's right up it's it's up and down some people say it's in single digits some people say it, it's barely in double digits or you know they're just you know they're not forthcoming with um the official number for the social housing that's been built they are placing a lot of emphasis on private landlords they're just throwing money at them and obviously if the emergency accommodation then with the hotels that are just five million a year and people will be kicked out half the time and the hotels will still take the money um it is a sad case that this could have been sorted already because leo varadkar only took notice of the homeless problem not when it hit 10k but when homeless people started appearing in his uh, constituency and you know we all know the things that don't go into his constituency like housing estates spar uh, any sort of shopping centers anything like that because you know he lives in a, a very little, little gated community so to speak like where they're well away from the rest of the world and only see homeless people on telly um so yeah this all could have been sorted and now they're trying to sort it by just throwing money at bankers or throwing money at, at developers um and the like rather than um as the masters for the master for the forecourt said getting something akin to a compulsory land order requisition where like the government would go to a farmer if they wanted to build a road through his land they basically the government draw up one of these orders and go to the vulture funds and basically say this is what we're giving you give us our houses um but yeah they won't do that there's just three times the amount of houses or even four at this point times the amount of houses being held by vulture funds that there are homeless in ireland so there is basically a house for everyone 
and then you could take your refugees in and have houses for them as well. There's like this is the thing between ghost estates and everything else. Um, the houses are there to be bought, but there there's just no interest. Um, it, what I would like to point out is the fact that Irish groups of people are looking after these people. They're non-funded, non-profit. Um, the likes of Homeless Mobile Run, um, Feed Our Homeless, they're all non-profit, non -or and then there's um, H2H, Big Hearts Here to Help. Uh, they basically, uh, they're, they're a supply for the rest of the groups, but the donations they take in and ship them all around the country, but it's like off their own backs. Nobody gets paid for this. And, you know, the, the homeless are the forgotten. And, you know, the Irish people have always been charitable to their own, so to speak, and everywhere else in the world. But it's sad that we have to look after our own because our government won't. And, you know, maybe something needs to be done but look i won't talk about voting because the same amount of people are the same people are going to be voted in next time as they're voted in now you know it just we've career politicians in this country that just you know their money keeps going up and up and up and you know people on social welfare and they like get thrown extra they get thrown an extra fiver whatever and you know they all give themselves claps on the backs and everything but you know that's just the way it is um so by all means i would say support these groups because they're doing a great job out there you know they'll be out in the worst weather making sure people are somewhat comfortable or as comfortable as they can be on the street and that is the be all and end all of it the irish people will look after uh, the homeless because the government won't uh, this is me signing out uh, drop your comments debates, insults even though I can't see why you'd insult in a video like this but hey there you go and I suppose I'll get back to you guys and thank you have a good one